Yo, what's good, guys? Today's video, plain and simple, it is gonna be talking about the five, five best decks in the meta. I've done what is the best deck in the meta, Pendulums. Obviously, Pendulums. There's nothing else remotely close to it. We have done an apology video to Robbie Cole and all Zodiac and anyone offended. And now, we're gonna talk about the five best decks in the meta with no bias, no bias whatsoever, whatsoever. It's the five best decks of the meta. Number five, no bias, Pendulum Magicians, the fifth best deck. It's good deck, but the Magicians itself are Garnets. They're good to have little bits of, but Magician itself is not that good. Pendulum Magicians, number five. Now you're gonna think, hey, no, that's not my water. Uh, they're gonna think, people are gonna think, hey, Triff, you said Pendulum Magicians are number five. What kind of uh, bad person are you betraying your deck? You're the pen god. How can you say Pendulum Magicians are number five? Well, it's simple, because number four is DDD Pendulums, and it's a better version than Pendulum Magicians. Now, you're thinking to also, hey, Steven, you already went through four or five. Where's uh, decks that aren't top three but still good? Like, are you thinking Trick Stars, BAs? You think they're four and five? No. They're in a whole other level. It's called the garbage level, tier seven. They suck. Definitely not even in the, uh, not even in the honorary mentions. DDD Pendulums are number four simply because they put up negates. Four negates, five negates, easy on bad hands. It's what DDD Pendulums do. It's very good and consistent and overall just better than Pendulum Magicians because Pendulum Magicians, they've got too many Garnet Magicians, man. That's why I, I choose DDD Pendulum over Pendulum Magicians, even though ma the Magicians itself give uh, not just consistency, but also utility. Overall, the firepower of Pendulum Magicians, and the reason why people say magic Pendulums suck it's because they keep drawing hands of five purple poison type of cards, like five magicians. So obviously your hand will suck with five magicians. Or like a curtain raiser and four magicians. You get Veiled, your turn ends. That's why people say pendulum magicians suck. It's because you're playing the wrong build of pendulums. DDD pendulums have too many extenders. And overall plus one cards, plus two, plus three cards. Kepler still plus three. You just play with Copernicus and Lamia. It is a much better version of pendulum magicians. Which leads us to number three. Thunder Pendulums, Thunder Dragon Pendulums, better than DDD Pendulums, and better than Pendulum Magicians. Thunder Pendulums are a world better than Thunder Dragons, because it puts up the same board as they do, while still saving another four cards in your hand. And the way you play Thunder Pendulums is with a bunch of plus one cards. So you end on the same double Colossus that normal Thunder Dragons do, but you back it up with two or three more Negates, which instantly destroys the Titan, which sucks, and hence making pen uh, Thunder Pendulums the third best deck by math mathematics of the meta. Number two, Pendulum FTK. Amazing, by far the best FTK in the meta right now. Jill and Duel, you're my boy, or girl, I don't, like an angel, whatever it is. Definitely better, definitely the best FTK right now. You can play with Zephyrus or uh, Pendulum Magicians. I personally prefer the Pendulum Magician variant of the FTK. And I will be releasing more and more videos of all five, uh, four of these variants I talked about so far. Uh, Pendulum FTK is just the best deck right now. Uh, second best deck, second best deck, only to the number one deck. Now, Pendulum FTK, uh, not many people are going to play hand traps now. It's why I'm putting it as the number two deck of the world right now, and also the second best Pendulum deck right now. Uh, because, very simply, there's not many hand traps in the game right now. There's really not. So... Uh, I have a success rate of 90% success FTK if I don't get hand trap. If I get hand trap, sucks for me. I put up two negates, but it's still not the FTK. But until I'm ensuring that hand traps aren't going to be a thing, uh, ensuring that there's no more FTK is viable, I will then pull out the Pendulum FTK, uh, the <laughs> Pendulum Magician version, because I feel it's way more consistent than the Zephyr version, and it ensures that you still have the FTK. And even sometimes through a weak hand trap, like a, uh, like a Ash, you can still put up the FTK. But... With that being said, until I'm, in, uh, I'm positive, until I'm positive that hand traps aren't gonna be a thing in the meta, I'm not gonna be playing Pendulum FTK. But when I am positive it's not a thing, then Pendulum FTK, we're whipping that out and FTKing lots of mans, uh, bringing it back to FTK format. Uh, next, honorary mentions. Honorary mentions, Sky Striker. You didn't crack my top five. Uh, good deck, but not good enough. You didn't crack the firepower of the four Pendulum decks I just named. Altered Geists are not very good. 
They're good if you're playing a support, support versus support. Like, you know, like if you're playing a, a deck that doesn't combo too much versus a deck that doesn't combo too much. Example, Alter Geist versus Trickstar. I don't care if White Sage pops. The deck sucks. Alter Geist will still win, even though the White Sage will pop stuff. Who cares? Uh, if you're facing Striker versus Alter Geist, I guess it's okay for both. But at the end of the day, uh, it's just not good enough for the power that Pendulums put up. Uh, Thunder Dragon is another honorary mention. My three honorary mentions are Sky Striker, uh, Alter Geist, and Thunder Dragon. I put them at six, seven, and eight. Uh, number one now, the moment we've all been waiting for. What is the best deck of the meta right now? Triff Pendulums, a special version of Pendulums that I have created that will absolutely destroy this meta. So you might be thinking, Steven, you already talked about Pendulum Magicians, you already talked about DDD Pendulums. All right, talking about Thunder Dragon Pendulums, Pendulum FTK, what spice are you hiding from us? That spice will be revealed to you guys very shortly. It is taking the essence of Yu-Gi-Oh! and transforming it with beautiful power spells, extenders, and one card negates, and Pendulum summoning them right up the ass, and putting up five negates every turn, regardless of what your opponent has to say. Would you like to draw me? No problem, I don't search. Would you like to ash me? You can't ash my pendulum summon. Five negates, easy. That is Turf Pendulums. Obviously 60 cards. And it's 60 card greatness. Better than any uh, grass looks greener crap. Because that deck sucks. Shout out my boy Chad. Because he likes the deck. Grass looks greener and fairy tale snow. Even though those cards are inferior. And not as superior as pendulums. That is my top 5 list of the meta. Number five to recap, Pendulum Magicians. Number four, DDD Pendulums. Number three, Thunder Pendulums. Number two, Pendulum FTK. And number one, Trift Pendulums. Trift Pendulums will be released very soon, and I will be doing updated lists on all my other Pendulums, especially Pendulum Magicians, because that seems to be the most, most popular version of Magicians. Any questions? No, because the Pen God's right. Stay tuned for more and more. I'm gonna be releasing crazy, crazy videos for you guys. And make sure to hit that subscribe button. And in the words of the GOAT, Team Samurai X1, smash that thumbs up button. That's what he says, right? <laughs> smash that like button. Smash that like button. Make sure to subscribe. And stay tuned for tomorrow's video. Where we're going to be doing a crazy video with Farfa. You know Farfa YGO? I lost a bet. So I'm going to have to do something, because I'm a man of my word, on video. So stay tuned for that tomorrow. Hope you guys like today's video. See you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.